All right. Good afternoon, boxing fans. Anthony with Bleacher Bums Gaming, and we are here with a feature Sunday match featuring the Brown Bomber Joel Lewis taking on the Black Ewan Max Schmeling in a 10-round heavyweight fight featuring Glory Days Boxing. And this will be the uh, rubber match of their three-fight series. Of course, Schmeling shocked the world, upsetting Lewis the first time they met. Lewis came back to stop Max in a single round the second time they met. So this will be the deciding fight. And we're going to get straight to the action here. So Lewis, uh, Joe Lewis has the Hail Mary trait, which is plus one to power behind the last two rounds of the fight. And hi, Bobby. How are you doing? A little Sunday afternoon boxing. Welcome to the fight. So if uh, Schmeling is leading Joe Lewis and this fight goes a distance and gets to the last two rounds, uh, Joe Lewis will have a boost to one of uh, his power rating. Max Schmeling has no traits. And Lewis should be favored in this one based on ring generalship. He is a little bit better than Schmeling, especially with the three-star bonus on the inside on a roll of two. And that should be the difference in the fight. Hey, and Bobby, I'm using a new webcam, but I'm defaulted to my uh, laptop microphone because the rep webcam has a terrible microphone. So just checking to see how the sound uh, is on your end, if it sounds okay. And we're going to get going in the fight. Stamina Lewis comes into this, and he'll have a stamina of 85 and Schmeling stamina of 80. And we'll get right to the action. Round one, here we go. Sounds good. Awesome. Thank you, Bobby. So one and a six, and Lewis again in the red corner. And that'll be outside two stars to inside one. Lewis in control. And Schmeling will be on defense, 14 and an eight. So 14 from the outside, and Joe Lewis is going to land combinations from all angles, four punches land, and Schmeling's defensive roll is a three, and he's actually going to block one of those to reduce that to three onto segment two. Ring general check, and both roll threes. This will be Schmeling in control offensively from the inside. Lewis on defense. And 49 for Schmeling, short, hard punches land in close, two punches land, and Joe Lewis's defensive roll is a five, and Lewis is actually going to add two to that, so four punches landed for Schmeling as we head to segment three of the first round. And ring general check, uh, threes again, it's going to be Schmeling on the inside in control. So 29, and this is going to be a possible knockdown as well. So 29 is going to be a 1-2 with an uppercut, three punches land. And Lewis needs to make a chin check, three or less, and he goes down. That is a 12. He's okay. So on to the next segment. Lewis is able to take that. And Joe Lewis is going to get control here on the outside, two stars to one. And double zero, blistering, two-handed assault, five punches land for Lewis and a possible knockdown for him as well. Schmeling at two or less, he goes down, and Schmeling is down. One minute and 10 seconds into this fight, a KO check of three is he able to regain his feet, and this fight is over. Just as they did in the second fight, Lewis blitzes Max Schmeling early, and it is going to be a one-round knockout. The end coming in segment four of the first round. So we'll get an official time on that. Six. Uh, one minute and 14 seconds of round number one. Joe Lewis. For the second time in their three fight series has a, 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 annihilates Max Schmeling and. Uh, total punches landed in this brief fight was eight to seven. So it was shaping up as a good match. But Lewis catches Smelling with a big right hand. And just like happened in real life, <laughs> I am Sporticus. Yeah, this was uh, kind of a sudden ending, just like um, their second fight in real life. Uh, Schmeling actually was off to the better start here in the first round, controlling the action. And Lewis got that big right hand in. And Schmeling is not easy to take out. Um, his chin rating against knockdowns while he's fresh is a two, so a two 
And then um, actually one was rolled on that check and a two on his KO check, which is three also very good. And that's how quick it ended. So one minute and 14 seconds for round number one at Joe Lewis is the victor over Max Smelling. And that is a very quick Sunday afternoon fight featuring Corey Day's boxing. Um, again, a game release is going to be in uh, May, looking at uh, no later than the second week of May. So sometime within the first two weeks of May, uh, we have the first print uh, set back from the printers. And I'm going to go pick up the rest of the first order uh, tomorrow, actually. So we'll be ready to go and start putting uh, game boxes together. But I was hoping this fight would highlight the game a little bit more, but um, didn't turn out that way. So Joe Lewis will look to move up the ranks. And uh, I am Sporting. Thank you very much. Very excited to be releasing this. And while we have a little bit of extra time, are there any uh, any particular heavyweight fighters that uh, you want to take a look at their card? Maybe um, we can go over their card or anything like that at all. In in, in the initial release, the only uh, I guess prominent fighters that aren't going to be included in the first release. There will be a supplemental release later, but um, I had to leave out three champions in the initial cut. Uh, Larry Holmes will not be in the first release, nor will Jess Willard or uh, Jack Sharkey. Um, so those three champions and some other prominent uh, fighters, such as um, uh, Young Stribling, as example, won't be in the release as well. But I think what we'll do, uh, the next fight we're going to do on the channel, do a quick preview of that since, again, this fight ended so quick. Uh, next fight on the channel is going to be a what if match that never happened uh, between Muhammad Ali and Teofilo Stevenson. So we'll do a quick preview of that fight. And Al Red Sox fan, you uh, it was a quick one. <laughs> uh, you go back and see, but Joe Lewis, uh, similar to what happened in real life in their second fight. Um, Max Schmeling had the early advantage, and then a minute and 14 seconds into the first round, um, Lewis caught Schmeling with a big right hand, and he went down and did not get up. So quick knockout for Joe Lewis. And hope you're having a happy Easter as well, my friend. Uh, I am Sporticus. Yes, Tommy Morrison is in the initial set. Uh, let me find his card real quick. I have all 100 boxers laid out here uh, on my table sorting them. So before we do the preview, here's Tommy Morrison's card. And trades come into play um, if there's something that really makes a fighter stand out. So not all fighters have trades. Tommy Morrison does not. Uh, his ratings kind of encapsulate uh, how he comes off, as, at least in the game, as a fighter. So Morrison, um, he is a... An upper, I guess, amongst the all-time greats, he's an upper echelon fighter, but a couple of steps below uh, fighters like Ali Lewis, obviously. Um, he scores on the inside literally 50% of the time. On the outside, uh, not as proficient, about 45% of the time. And some things that will stand out, of course, his power. Uh, when he is fresh, he has a power of six, which is actually um, very solid. It's the second highest power rating you can get in the game. Uh, his weakness is going to come his chin, and a lot of this has to do with his training uh, habits. You can see his stamina 60. That's not extremely good. Uh, he can get caught. He's a little bit harder to knock out, uh, but he does go down. And TKO rating, which is his will rating, is – about average actually is all uh, cuts and not very um, not a very big uh, foul rating or a low foul rating so a clean fighter and you can see defensively it's about 50 50 on a chance he can block punches on a couple of rolls he'll add which uh, his defense was kind of erratic so that uh, does in, uh, take that into account and then his cut and swelling he did cut 
a tendency to cut a little bit more. You could suffer gashes eat a little bit uh, more easier than average fighters. So that's Tommy Morrison's card. And we will do the preview of the next fight on the channel, which is Teofilo Stevenson versus Muhammad Ali in a what if fight. So in rating Stevenson, it was hard. All we had to go by really was an amateur record. Uh, absolutely. I'm Sporticus. Um, glad I could feature that. And Stevenson, 302 amateur wins against 22 defeats is awesome. But again, it's amateur. So some things are speculation, which is why I have a little asterisk by his rating. But um, it was it was very hard to project him. Uh, I, I don't see him historically as amongst the top five heavyweights. I, I know he's definitely would have been very solid and would have given Ali a good fight, I think. But a step below that. So you can see all these ring general ratings. Ali has three ring general ratings of two stars and then a three star rating on one of his outside checks, which is reserved for really only the best uh, top level fighters in the game. Stevenson uh, has four two star ratings, which is still very good and a um, one star and no stars on the outside. So his ratings are, are definitely solid and right up there with anybody's in the game uh, in terms of punches landed, punching accuracy. From the outside, Ollie, a big advantage, lands roughly 62% of his shots from the outside to 53. And inside, Stevenson's a little bit better, 48% land percentage to 46. Uh, both were better on the outside. Uh, Chin, power, definitely an advantage to Stevenson, five to four for Ali. Chin, Ali, one against knockdowns and one against KOs. And S Stevenson, also a very good chin, two against knockdowns, one against KOs. Um, Ali is a little bit better chin-wise when he is fatigued than Stevenson. And then uh, TKO checks, their will ratings, both very low both hard to cut and both clean fighters overall. Uh, the stamina factor, that was kind of a tough one to rank because we don't have any measuring stick. Um, so going just on the transition from fighting three round fights to 10 or 15 round fights, um, Stevenson uh, stamina of 70, Ali of course, conserved his energy very well in the ring, was very efficient in his punches. So he is a 90. Uh, defensively, Stevenson, um, not amongst the a good defensive fighter, not great. Blocks punches on one to three, uh, adds a punch on four to five. Ali is exceptional. Blocks punches on one to three, one, and four to seven. He'll block two punches. Uh, one of the best defensive fighters in the history of the heavyweight division, of course. Counter punching Ali, a little bit of advantage. Uh, lands on one to seven on a 1D20. Uh, Stevenson only one to five. And fouls, both very, I guess, nondescript there and neither fighter actually identical in their cut and uh, swelling rating. So that uh, that is the matchup in terms of traits. Ollie has the rolls with traits, slips, punches well. So he's going to reduce Stevenson's power to a four. And that just represents the ability to flow and go with the very end where the impact comes with the punch and not take the punch full on solid. Uh, Stevenson is a headhunter, and that, that'll actually be an interesting trait as it relates to this fight and all his defense uh, for headhunters outside punches can't be blocked so whenever Stevenson lands on the outside and, and that represents how efficient he was with his jab and straight right hand in scoring getting punches in so in that situation he's actually if he can keep the fight on the outside and win the ring general checks he's actually going to have an advantage over Ollie there which uh, will definitely come into play and outside of that, um, that's probably the, the two biggest things, how their traits are going to interact in this fight. Uh, prediction wise, I'm thinking Ali, um, Ali in a decision. I predict a 10 round unanimous decision in this uh, should be a very interesting and entertaining fight, though. So looking forward to putting that on. So that is what's coming up next on the channel uh, in terms of featuring Glory Days Boxing. And again, uh, sorry for those that missed this. This was a very quick, uh, very quick outing as Joe Lewis. And again, the replay on that, uh, Schmeling had the advantage early in the round. Um, actually had an advantage of punches landed of uh, seven to three. 
And then Joe Lewis caught him with the right hand. Schmeling failed his chin check for the knockdown and then again failed on the KO chin check and it was over. Minute 14 seconds in, Schmeling takes out, or Lewis takes out Schmeling. And that's going to do it. So a little bit of filler time there. Um, again, within the first two weeks of May, the game will be released and definitely appreciate everyone who has expressed interest. Uh, very excited to get this out and look forward to uh, seeing the reception and, you know, taking feedback and, and doing whatever I can to make the game better as well. So thanks a lot. Hope everyone has had a great Easter and if you blinked and missed it, sorry. Uh, but until next time, keep gaming and keep rolling for that knockout and have a great day, everyone. We'll see you later.